Good afternoon, my lovelies. Good afternoon, viewers. Good afternoon, esteemed bakers. I welcome you all into another section of this video of this online class once again. And I want to say thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for your comments and for your likes. Thank you so much for downloading. Thank you so much, you know, for your interest about this online class. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So today, I brought another segment of today's class, which is how to measure with weighing scale. You see, it has come to my notice that not all bakers knows how to measure with this weighing scale. You know, recently I was in a particular group and I was meant to understand that most people, especially the beginners, they measure with cups. Though those cups too, they are also very okay, but you can't compare it with measuring skill. Because the number of quantity you use in measuring with cups, it might not be the same quantity you measure with skill. So no, as for me, no matter any little that no, no matter little kilograms or grams that I'm measuring, I must measure with my skill. Because it's it's so it's you know it it, it, it gives me correct measurement. So I'm going to teach you on how to go about it from the starting to till or to the end. And you know, the good news about this thing I'm going to share with you right now is that it's a bonus class for you all. This one you don't have to pay for it. It's it's free for you all to watch and download and save on your tablet or on your phone. So that's one good thing about it. It's my only two of saying thank you for watching, thank you for downloading, and thank you for understanding. So now I'm going to start the class now. So this is what we call measuring skill. But let me remove this um, plastic so that you can you all can see what I'm saying. This one I will start with you know lecturing on, on the kilograms and the grams because this is what most makers this is what we use the red line. So that's what I'm going to lecture you on. So now this is as you can see this is kilogram. This is one kilogram, two kilograms, three kilograms, four kilograms till 20 kilograms and why all these red lines you are seeing here now all these red lines all these tiny red lines you are seeing here are grams so now there are some recipes that calls for kilograms there are some recipes that calls for grams so when you hear the word grams is you are referring to or is being referred to this small small lines, these tiny lines you are seeing here now, from the starting to the end. But if you hear any recipe that calls for kilograms, it's being referred to kilograms, it's being referred to one kg, two kg, three kg, four kg, five kg, six kg, eight kg. So now we are going to you're going to see how it's being measured. You can see this to measure to measure now, we find that. One, kil one kilogram, two kilogram is very easy, you know, to measure because the numbers has already been written on it. But to measure like 500 grams, 750 grams, 950 grams, 1.250 grams, you know, it's it's um it's kind of difficult because of these numbers. But I show you that when you start measuring, it's not going to be difficult because it's it's kind of very easy. So now we are going to start now. Please, before you measure anything, make sure that this arrow, this red arrow you're seeing here, is in between zero. Because if it's not in between zero, you're going to get the wrong total measurement. And it's not good. For example, now, if you're to, if you want to bake a um, 500 grams of cake, and your measurement is not correct, you're going to put this arrow was somewhere here, Maybe somewhere in like um, 300 grams, and you start measuring, you start measuring, you're going to get a very wrong measurement. Your 
cake will be so bad. So before you measure anything, make sure that the arrow is not like this. And you now put your pan, maybe like, before you measure anything, make sure that the arrow is not like this. And you now put your pan here. No. Or maybe the arrow was like this. And you went to put your pan here. No. That is wrong. Make sure that your at this red arrow is in between zero. And then you place your pan here. And you measure. If you want to set, do the settings. This, this is where you do the settings. This place is the setting. This is where you do the turning. So now this is a setting. As you can see now, I'm setting. You turn. You just turn it. If it is here now, if the arrow is here and I place my pan on it, I want to measure now. If you look at it very well, this arrow is not in zero. So therefore, I can't start measuring anything because if I should start, I start, it will give me So now I just placed my pan now or this plate, this measuring plate on the scale. So if you look at if you if you look at the scale very well, you you you, you find that it's not in zero anymore. It's no longer in zero. So now what I will have to do is that I will now have to set. I'm setting it to zero. Look at it now. It's now in zero. So now I have already set it. This the the angle now. It's now in zero. So now I can start measuring anything that I want to measure. And it will give me the accurate measurement. So now I'm going to teach you how to measure with grams. I'll teach you how to measure with grams now. Like I said earlier, all these tiny lines here are grams, and they are very extremely important in terms of measuring anything you want to measure. So now this is 100 grams. So now, as you can see now, the arrow is in, is in between zero. And I can start measure what, measure what I buy, whatever I want to measure. So now, this is, this line that I'm pointing now. It's 100 grams, no longer kilograms. Remember, this one, two, three, four, five, six, they are kilograms. But these tiny lines are grams. All these 100 grams, in between, this small line being in between it is 50 grams. 200 grams, 250 grams, 300 grams, 350 grams, 400 grams. 450 grams, then 500 grams. 500 grams. So, if you want to, whatever recipe that calls for 500 grams, you measure till you stop here. The next one now is 1 kg. Because 1 kg kilograms is bigger than grams. I will come again. This line here is 100 grams. All these short, short lines, you see all those short, short lines in between 100 grams, they are all called 50 grams. So, you do your addition and your subtraction to get accurate measurements. Now, I want to measure, I want to show you how to get your 750 grams. After counting 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 grams, you count again 600 grams, 700 grams. 
you're trying to get achieve a 750 grams this is your 750 grams 500 grams 550 grams 600 grams 650 grams 700 grams 750 then 600 657 750 again so it's it, 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 it's not very difficult it's only if you know how to count your count very well but as as far as the thing is that the thing there is that if you really know where your 50 gram is then you'll be able to achieve it so what i would tell you is that always have in your mind whenever you're trying to measure that this line here is 100 grams the short one beside it is 50 grams so whatever if you want to get 450 grams you do your counting and you will get it if you want to measure 2 kg this is 2 kilograms you stop here as you can see the number is already showing if you want to measure 2.250 since you've gotten here you will now come here and count 2.1 2.150 2.200 2.250 so you should have your mind that this is 100 grams and 50 grams so once that thing is your mind you'll be able to achieve it is 4.5 or 4.250 because you know why you've already had because because you know already what this one is 100 grams and the one that is 50 grams so you just do your add your addition and your subtraction so that is what you know we call the grams and the kilograms please this is very very important you study the video very well after all it's a very it's, it's a bonus video you study the video very well and understand all these things here they are very very important if you're saying that you want to use cups you might not get the accurate measurement of cups because most of the cups they are much more bigger this is what I've been using for like for for, no, for a few years now and it has never disappointed me for once. It has never disappointed me. It's not difficult, it's very easy. Just know these red lines. I know that this this one, two, three, four, five, they are very easy to learn because the numbers are already showing. But the red one, the number is not showing. It's like for you to calculate very well, which I've already told you already. Remember again, this one here is hundred grams. And the short line close to the longer one is 50 grams. 100, then 50. So, this is how we measure, you know, all our baking materials in the scale. And I hope you understand. It's a very short clip because it's not difficult to learn. So, study the video and watch it. If you have questions, send in your questions and your answers you get your answers immediately i will give you i'll drop my whatsapp number on this video in case you have anything to tell me my whatsapp number is 80 i come again my whatsapp number is 80 you can get me anytime on that WhatsApp messages. And please, whenever you want to WhatsApp me, your WhatsApp message should come from morning till in the afternoon. Please don't send me WhatsApp messages in the night because I will not respond. So whatever thing you want to ask me in all these videos I'll be sending, your question should come in, in the morning from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. Any, any other thing apart from this, you will get any response till the next day. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for, for downloading. And more videos on baking classes and pastry classes will be coming on your way. Thank you all so much.